Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the, the kind of breaking mechanics of a knee bar. And can I have you switch around 90 degrees? Just whoop, head over there. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so a knee bar. So if you've taken my class before on, on principles, you'll understand that my understanding of an arm bar is you isolate the shoulder, you isolate the wrist, and you exert pressure in the opposite direction of the, the elbow. Knee bar works pretty much the same, with a minor uh, difference. And so when I'm attacking a knee bar, I'm just going to go straight into the, the position, so that when we are working this, um, everybody's kind of on the same page, and I don't have to repeat myself as far as what the position is ultimately going to look like. So when I'm in a knee bar, um, number one, I want the knee above the, the pelvis. I usually aim for knee to the, the belly button. That's a good rule of thumb, right? My inside leg is tucked. And it's basically my heel is tucked in between his, his butt cheeks, right? That's where I want to be. I'm not straight out here. I'm not locked up with a, a figure four. I'm tucked up and I'm kind of pulling my own heel to my butt. His body is in the way, which is what I want. It's going to keep him tight and to me. My ass is connected to him, so I want to be as close to him as possible. I don't want to be out here because there's too much space. Number one, he can be really easily with his opposite leg. Or two, I'm not going to get the, enough leverage on the knee. So I want to be super close. You'll see everything's tucked in. It's not out here. Tucked in tight. Um, secondly, there's what I call kind of a, a leg sandwich that you have to keep in mind. The leg sandwich goes as follows. My hip is on the mat. His hip is in between mine. My other hip is in between his, and his hip is on top, right? So we end up like this. If the leg sandwich is the other way, I can maybe get this, but I don't have enough leverage on him, and he can easily uh, belly down and defend this knee bar. And if he bellies down, his hips are out of line. I can't control his hips as well. And then his knee is going to follow. The knee follows the hip line. So keep that in mind. Um, think of it as the reason why I call it a, like a leg sandwich is if you're making a BLT, right? You don't want your tomato next to your bread. Why? Gets it soggy, right? It's just, it's a shitty sandwich. So you need to have a good sandwich. Your leg sandwich has to be your hip on the mat first, and then the rest follows, not the other way around. Um, when you finish this, again, like I said, like an arm bar, you're isolating the, the major joint, you're isolating the minor joint, and then you're exerting pressure in the opposite direction of the, the leg, or in the, the flex, right? So in a, an arm bar, it's the opposite direction of the elbow. In a knee bar, it's the opposite direction of a, a knee. So it naturally bends this way. It doesn't naturally bend this way. I told you there's a minor difference, and that being there's a slight twist involved. Yes, you can finish a knee bar with just consistent pressure in one direction, but you also want to take a little bit of a twist with the knee bars. It'll make it that much faster. And this is a, a trick that I learned from Dean Lester, actually. Um, he just showed me this minor detail, and I, it took my knee bar percentages up from probably 60 to 90. If I get in this position, you're probably going to attack. So when we finish this, we have our leg sandwich all set up. I have my inside leg scooping up between his butt cheeks. His foot is like a telephone between my ear and the mat, just like this, right? Get nice and comfy with it. I like to take the crux of my, uh, or the inside of my elbow to his Achilles, and I'm hugging it like this. Hugging my ear to his, his ankle, and I'm taking my other hand and grabbing the heel. That just provides some extra security so that he can't turn. Again, if, he, if I can immobilize the major joints, the hip and the ankle, there's no way that his knee can turn. It can't turn independently of the other two joints, right? So from here, I lock it in and I pinch. Uh, the pinch is really important. A lot of people try to do this, but there's just too much space. You gotta pinch and take that space away. And then to finish, I'm just pushing my hips forward just like you would in an arm bar. And then I'm taking my shoulder to the mat. Super fast. 
Good? Yeah. All right. And he's the one with the good You're knees. good. <laughs> yeah, he's right. the one with the healthy knees. Are you sure you want to be in this position? All right, so I'm going to get my leg sandwich on this side. We're going to just kind of review this so I can walk around and make sure everybody has the leg sandwich right. So I have my hip on the ground first. I'm connected. My ass is basically on the, the, his side. My uh, inside leg is tucked up between his, his butt cheeks. I'm laying down. I have my bottom arm is hugging nice and tight right into the, uh, the crease of your elbow. I'm telephoning his ankle. Now I've immobilized this joint. I've immobilized this joint with the, the positioning of my legs. And I'm just going to pinch my elbows, push my hips forward, and take my shoulder to the mat. Cool? You want to work on that? I'll come around, correct you guys, and then we can go into the entries. Got it? One, two, three. between his and his is on top. Sometimes I like to grab, right? If I can afford to grab, 
I'm going to keep this leg. Why? Because he can use this to push me away. But if I know I've got it, the inside of my elbow, grab the heel, we're pinching our elbows. Why do I pinch? Because it connects his leg to my body. When his leg is connected to my body, it goes where I go. Right? If I don't have connection and I try to twist, there's nothing. I want him connected so that when I go to twist, he's coming with me. All right? So we'll do that without releasing the foot. So I'll, I'll show you how I like to do it. So we're coming in. We're faking this pass. He's trying to push this leg away. I open the door. I push it across. Now I have this wide, big opening. I lift slightly, slide in, but I'm keeping tight. I slide all the way to my side, keeping that butt cheek, uh, butt cheek grip, flexing my uh, calf and my heel towards my own butt. My bottom arm is hugging all the way to the elbow crease. His foot is telephoned between the mat and myself. I'm grabbing his heel, getting my rear naked choke grip pinching the elbows so that his leg remains connected to me, and then I'm pushing and twisting. We got it? One more time? One more time. Uh, let's get to the rack so we get different. So once more, open guard. I'm not just going to step right in there and give him what he wants. I'm coming in and threatening the pass. Open the door, push his arm out of the way. You'll see I opened, and then I secret and shoved it out of the way. Lift slightly, slide right across. I want connection with your shin to his hip crease. Slide all the way through, keeping that nice tight grip, making sure my leg sandwich is okay. Un uh, uh, lower arm hugs all the way to the elbow crease. Upper arm grabs the heel, I pinch, rear naked choke grip, and I'm pushing my hips at the same time I'm taking my uh, shoulder to the mat. Cool? Yeah? One, two, three. And then as you turn, Sometimes I like to, maybe I, I can't come across here. Maybe he's, he's just, I've done this on him a couple of times and he knows what's up. So. I'm going to fake a different kind of knee bar. So instead of attacking this leg here, I'm going to fake that I'm attacking this leg with a knee bar, right? But the difference is that I'm not hugging like this. I'm going to come in, and so this is where you, you might fake kind of a, a knee size. Um, but I'm going to hug underneath. So on this leg, we went inside out. On this leg, we're going outside in. And we're going to try it on. Boom. Now, what does it look like I'm giving him? My back, right? Which is exactly what I want. See, he's going to sit up. When he sits up, that brings his other leg close to me. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to elevate my leg. I'm going to reach in between. I'm going to grab it. And as I'm pulling him around, I'm going to shoot my inside leg across and roll him over to my leg sandwich. Right? This is where I, I think I mentioned a couple of people. I'll just keep this. I'll keep it as long as I want. Right? Because if this leg's here, it's not defending. Again, I'm going to take the inside of my elbow to his Achilles, grab my shoulder, and then if I need to, sometimes I don't. I have to. <laughs> Well, just keep this on the way. Why not? And he never walked again. But <laughs> if you feel like you need that, you're going to hold this as long as possible. And then you're going to go to your heel grip. You're going to pinch your elbows. Again, pinching your elbows is incredibly critical. Why? Because it keeps his body attached to mine. If there's space and I turn, his leg might turn, it might not. If his leg is connected to mine and I turn, his leg is turning with me. Cool? So we have to pinch. And if this leg is way out to Jones's house, that's fine. Right? It still works the same. 
I'd rather you be closer to him than farther away and grabbing that heel, right? So if you feel there's air between your bums and his, boom. Just adjust. So once more, or a couple more times, I'm sure. Let's do it in a couple different directions, okay? Um, again, so I'm faking the knee slice and I'm hugging over in, tripoding up. I'm on my head, I'm on my shoulder, and I'm on my toes. He thinks I'm giving the back, I'm gonna lift my leg up into the air, kind of like a dog peeing on a fire hydrant. I'm grabbing in between my legs, I need his leg in between mine. I'm pulling it up, and then at the same time, I'm rolling him. Because if I just do this, what's wrong with my leg sandwich? The tomato's in the wrong spot, right? So I'm here, I grab him, and as soon as I grab his leg, we're taking a ride. So in the transition, this leg shoots in so that I have that nice uh, nalgas clamp, all right? In between my, the butt cheeks. Slide it up, I already had it, so I'm just gonna slide it up, grab the heel, Push my hips forward, turn my shoulder to the mat. Okay. This angle. All right? So we're faking this, getting our back. He comes up, brings that leg close to mine. We go for a ride. I shoot that forward and adjust. Slow it down. Yeah. So we're here, kind of like a knee slice position, but not quite because I don't want his leg on the mat. We're coming close to his hip crease, almost as if we're going from this side, right? But instead of coming inside out with this near side or outside leg, arc, coming outside in, right body, he goes for the back, we go for a ride. And I shoot this forward into my leg sandwich. Pull this as long as I need to. Telephone, pinch, lift and turn. Got it? Yeah? It's fun, guys. <laughs> <laughs> right? One, two, three. Yes, sir, yes. I can try it. I don't know. Back to the back. Like between your leg. Oh, you get on the Like you're peeing on a hydrant. You're reaching in. Some people reach in like this. 
I like to reach in like this. I'm pulling it to me as I clamp my legs. I need him to be connected to me as I take him for a ride. So clamp, roll, shoot that inside leg through as I'm coming through the roll, clamp it between his butt cheeks. Take the leg. I can keep it if I feel like I have a strong enough uh, positioning with this. Sometimes I'll put it behind my head to really look good for the camera, right? <laughs> Take it. Or regular finishing mechanics, grab the heel, pinch, Take it for a ride. Cool? Sounds good? Sounds good. All right, guys. Well, thank you for letting me show a few of my, some of my favorite moves, and I'll be here all week.